Hello, welcome to part five. Here we're going to look at the actual appraisal meeting, the heart of the system. So at the meeting, the manager should put the appraisee at ease, ensure they know what will happen at the meeting, discuss and agree the agenda at the outset, discuss and agree the outcomes, and write up the meeting. The appraisal should review performance during the period under consideration. Let's say 12 months, that's the usual. It is important though that issues are dealt with as they arise by management and not held over for the appraisal meeting. Performance should be reviewed against goals and targets set at the last performance review meeting. Do not confuse this process with target and goal setting for company growth, profitability, incentive or bonus schemes. That should be handled completely separately. This process is about developing and optimising people's individual performance and their career path. The appraisal meeting should also review any development carried out and check if its objectives were met, identify any training or resource needs and set goals and targets for the coming period. This is a good time to review the job description and check it's up to date and an accurate reflection of the current role. So to summarise, the agenda should look like this. Review training and development and its effectiveness. Review performance against targets. Offer solutions to problems. Review the appraisee's career plan and consider the potential career path. Identify new training performance targets. Identify skills or other gaps. Identify new training and development plans and review the job description. It's important that both the appraisee and the appraiser set aside time to think and plan before the meeting. And it's useful to have a document that helps with this process, which we looked at in the last lesson. It's often optional whether these planning documents are kept on fire with the review document or destroyed. The meeting record should be a summary of what's been discussed and agreed and not a record of what is said. Some things may not be committed to writing and this can often allow a full and frank discussion to take place. Accordingly, the meeting record document is less detailed than the preparation documents. A development plan, targets and action plan should develop from the meeting. You can download here the appraisal meeting document, action plan and the skills development and training plan. Together with the downloadable documents we offered in earlier lessons in this module, you now have the suite of documents you need to implement and manage your own performance management system. So you can download an appraisal meeting document. Let me just walk you through it. So this is to be completed by the appraiser, the manager during the meeting and then signed by both appraiser and appraisee at the meeting. So again, the job holder's name and the review date. And then a summary of in the period under review, what's gone well and why. So this is a summary, not a record of everything that was said, just a summary. OK. And in the period under review, what's gone less well and why? Again, you just record the summary. What factors have affected performance and what can be done differently in the next period? Again, summarising the outcome, the conversation may have taken a long time and hopefully some decisions were reached. This is a record of the decisions that have been reached. Is there anything your manager could have done to improve your performance? So you just note there, the manager is committing to, to help to improve the performance. And then make a note of what the appraisees found most enjoyable and most in least interesting and why. A record of the achievements and successes and a review of what skills might be needed to improve. This may relate to um, new developments that are, are coming in that the manager is aware of um, and may know that the appraisee will need um, some training in, in new technologies, um, but this is at least a record then for the HR department of, of what needs to be done. And then you may note any positives, any areas for improvement and what targets have been agreed. Then let's have a look at the action plan. So 
this is this serves as a good um, starting place for for next year or or in fact for the appraisee to keep um, refer to during the year to make sure they're on track so it's a note of any actions required by them so it may be to learn a new system to you know um, learn how to delegate to staff to concentrate on their um, leadership skills um, to learn to, to um, induct new uh, members of staff whatever is needed and any action required by the appraiser so this is what they're going to do to enable the appraisal to optimize their performance and then we do the skills development and training plan so we make a note of what has been agreed for the next period and and that is very useful for um, whoever is putting together the development and training plans across the, the company for them to concentrate uh, just on that and be able to come up with a plan across the company that enables everyone to have the skills and development that they need so i hope those downloads are helpful that's it for today see you again in part six